lads, here we go. Chapter 4. It's blazing hot sunshine outside. It's the best looking day I've ever seen in my life. I'm sat indoors playing Super Seducer, chatting with virtual women. Does life get better? <laughs> From ancient archaeological finds, we know that since the dawn of human history, men have fantasized about sexing two chicks with one dick. Finally, for the first time, we can learn the exact method that you can use to effortlessly score threesomes with hot chicks. Enjoy. I d like, I don't know if it's, con I don't know if it's controversial, matter right, but I just like how she put it, sex in two chicks with one dick. I've never, aside from thinking, like, you're Billy Big Bollocks because you had sex with, like, two women at the same time, like, I've never done it, but I don't really see the appeal. Like, one woman's enough for me. Because once I come, like, that's it. It's game over. Like, like why, why, why do I want to pleasure two women instead of one? You know what I mean? I think that's far too much effort for the man. <laughs> this is going to sound fucking wild, right? But if anything, I'd rather just have, like, me having sex with a, a woman and then, like, some other guy coming in to finish the, <laughs> finish her off. You know what I mean? Like, like mate, why, why would I want to do the extra work with two women? Like, I did that. I did that. Uh, not for me. But this will be a laugh. Come on then. Like, set the vibrate and finish yourself off. You met Denise a few days ago and invited her for a date in a bar. She seems cool and you want to arrange a threesome, obviously. In the first part, your job is to try and find a girl and get her to come over. So it's me and another girl versus another girl. It just feels like too much of it, like entrapment in it. This is nothing like, oh, I'd, I've probably told you this story in the past, right? We'll wait till the music dies down and I'll tell you the crack. Lots of women out tonight. I like her, mate. The one on the left that it just showed us. So something I always wanted to know, since I was a small baby, is what's the difference between uh, Netherlands and Holland? Nothing. Oh, I get asked the question all the time. Yeah, you so do? Basically... I feel bored, you don't need to answer. Oh, no, I definitely don't feel <laughs> bored, otherwise, you know, I wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> no, but um, the Netherlands basically has 12 provinces, uh -huh. and two of them are called not the, the northern and the southern of Holland. Do you know the name of the other 10? Um, you don't need to tell me, I'm just wondering. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, wow. I, I think if I, I, if I like, uh, like one's called Chronia, which is really hard to pronounce. Chronia. Chronia? Chronia. Yeah. Chroningen. Chroningen. Yeah, exactly. Chroningen. Did I say it right? Yeah, you said Chroningen. it right. Yeah. <laughs> need a drink after that. Yeah. Right, yeah. Good one. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that girl on the background on Bye the right hand you. side with the bag Deeper. and the blue skirt, oh, yes, that right? she's probably hot. Right. Because you're Dutch, mm -hmm. not Hollandish, or no, ne ne the Netherlandine <laughs> or something. <laughs> right. So what's that about? Hmm, um, I don't know. You Actually, don't know? I have no Sounds idea. Sounds Australian. Mm. No. We'll check that one later, right? We'll have to. Because people don't ask you that. You said people always ask you the difference between Holland and Netherlands. Yeah. They don't ask you about Dutch. No, I wouldn't even know. Mm. See how smart I am to think about that? <laughs> You're very smart, I have to say. And they say go Dutch, like split the bill. In America, they say, let's go Dutch. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know, I've never been to America. I would love to go sometime. Ah, but even on American TV, they talk about, like, splitting the bill. They say, let's go Dutch. Let's go Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> what the I've fuck? I've never heard of it. Oh. I honestly haven't. I think the idea is that, like, uh, Holland or Netherlands is, like, more advanced. I think by now, this girl's funny uh, would be drier than the Sahara. Right? So <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Maybe. I don't know. I would say Dutch people are very independent. Dutch women, definitely. Sorry, maybe maybe it's like that. I don't know. Do you like people watching? I like it. I'm not the best at it, but I really like it. Not the best at it? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, tell me, can you see that couple over there? Like the woman in green and guy in kind of bluey colour? Yeah. What do you think their story is? Hmm. I think that... They're on like their fifth date. Fifth? Wow. But she's not really feeling it and she doesn't know how to tell him. Oh man, that's sad, yeah? Poor yeah, guy. The poor so guy. He's, he's gonna be disappointed at some point. <laughs> he's gonna be very disappointed at some point, yeah. Hmm. Come again into the funny smashing. About, see this blonde girl just near us? She's in the kind of greeny dress. Aye. 
Yeah. Who? Pick who? Who's the from? best? I have absolutely no idea. You don't know? No. Um, I think she's... Right, here we go. Anyways, back to the story I was going to tell you. Yeah, I've never understood people who want to share their girlfriend or like their partner. You know, it, it's so it's so weird, like a weird concept. Like imagine having your last getting dicked by another man and like you like wanting that to happen. What the fuck? Anyway, back to the story. I was about, I was probably 18 years old. We all had our, we, we should like, because we all had like our first cars, maybe 17 or 18. And our, we used to go out in our friend's car or in multiple cars, depending on how many there were of us. And we used to go to the coast, park up, have a chill out, bit chat. There was, I think there was four of us in, in my friend's car and we parked up on the coast. And we were just sat there, we only sat there for about 10 minutes. And we saw, because it's quite quiet, there was no other cars there. And a car drove in and parked like probably three or four spaces to the side of us. Never thought of anything. And about five minutes after that, we got a knock on the car window. Okay then, so it was a woman, like a wifey. She was like maybe in her late 30s, early 40s. On the window, are oh, you alright? Oh, hello lads. Um, if anybody wants to come and have sex in me in my van, um, just come and give us a knock. I um, would love to have you. So we were like, what the fuck? Right, okay, thanks very much, pet. So we went wind, wind the window back up and we're just like, yeah, who's going to do it? I was like, fuck that, I'm not doing it. Like, these, <laughs> fuck that. Me mate from the back was like, yeah, I'm going to have a shot of this. So we let him out. He went over, climbed in the car. We were like, yeah, this guy is mad. I can't believe um, he's going to go and have sex with his wifey. Five minutes later, lads, let us back in. Let us back in. What the? What's going on here? Uh, you guys, we're in the back. I was getting ready. I was getting undressed, getting ready to fucking smash this 40-year-old woman's fanny in. And um, he went, I looked round. There was a fucking guy sat in the passenger seat with a, little, with a video camera, with his dick in his hand, watching. It was a husband. So what he must do is, him and his lass must drive to dog and spots. He would get random blokes to shag his wife when he sat and had a wank in the passenger side and videoed it. And my mate was like, I'm not about that life, fuck that. <laughs> it was just so funny because he was so sure of himself. And then as soon as he saw some other bloke watching, he was like, nah, not for me. But how, like, this exists. This is the side of life that I don't know. And like, that, it's, it's just strange. So fucking strange. Um, okay, let's get on to it. So I've actually forgot the question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to pick what this girl is like. She's definitely not Spanish. She's definitely not Swedish. She's definitely not Danish. And she's definitely not Brazilian. I'm going to say she's... Spanish. I would say she's Spanish. Spanish? Yeah, a little Spanish chica. Chica, chica. Hmm. What do you think? You can't be serious. Why? You don't think so? No, I really disagree with you. Mm. I'm so sure. I'll tell you what, let's bet on it. You don't even need to bet. I'll bet. What have I got? 20 euro. If I'm right, what'd you say? You're on. How should you approach? I don't know as well, like, this is another thing. It all depends on what you're going for. If you're just going here to knob two birds, ah, fair enough. But if you're out trying to seduce a woman to like be your girlfriend and long-time life partner, then I would have serious reservations about a lass that would be willing to have a threesome. I'd be thinking like, she's not serious, she's just fucking around. You know what I mean? Like, I'd, I do not know about that, lads. How should you approach? Walk up to the group and say... Why are you bros talking to this ugly skank in order to neg her? <laughs> you go over and whisper, I want to fuck the shit out of you in her ear and then lick it. Oh, that is the one. Watch this. This is how you win at life. I want to fuck the shit out of you, girl. Awesome. Yeah. 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 How about the way? Have you seen any celebrities here? No, not celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let me just tell you something. Come on. What are you doing? You're a fucking perv. Get away from here. She's up for it, hey, yeah. hey. You alright, bro? What? What? Fucking hell, this guy's mafia boss. Just let me have a go with her, man. 
What you oh, want? Fuck off. They're so unfriendly, baby. I'm so happy I'm here with you. <laughs> you, won't, you won't be bad to me, will you? What's wrong? Fuck off, please. You're fucking disgusting. Ew. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. I don't think she's Spanish, not by the sound of it. I think she's a um Hey, I don't know. I don't think she's any of the options we had. Right, tell you what we've got to do. We've both got to go over. That's how you do it. So it's it's a non-threatening situation. Let's go find out. Yeah, let's let's go. Hey, excuse me. Hey, how you Hi. doing? Hi. Right, good. good evening. Good Cheers. evening. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Oh, you're gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> That's correct. The guys will look at the two of you and think you're a couple, think that exactly. you're no threat, think that you're not trying it on with their friends, so it has a much better chance of working. One of your friends could also distract this group. Distract the group? What, like, throw okay, like a coin like a hitman? <laughs> we were over there and we had a bet about where you're from. That's 20 euros, so it's a big one. And I bet that you were Spanish. So I'm right? Oh, no, I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> I oh, she might be Danish, Danish actually. <sighs> okay. But nice try. 20 euro, congrats. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so come on then, tell us what, tell us what so nationality you are. From? Actually, I'm from Slutsk in oh, Belarus. Amazing. <laughs> really? Have you heard about this country? What? Um, Belarus is yeah. like Eastern Europe somewhere. Yeah, it's in Europe. It's a small but very beautiful country. Mm. You've got lots of pretty girls there. Obviously, yeah. 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 Thank you. And nice nature. You should come. You should come to see it. Well, that's a great oh, we come on the night. Exotic. I don't think yeah. it's like the normal tourist place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My name is Richard, by the way. Oh, my nice name is Caroline. Nice to meet you. Nice to Caroline, meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Denise. I'm oh, Denise. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> This is how you. This is, this is how you. What what's it called? Is it swinging? Is it no no swinging's when like multiple couples go to a place and then just shag each other's partners in it. What's it called when you have somebody else fuck your partner? <laughs> cook old. Is it cook old? This is this is or, or maybe just a threesome. This this is how you have a threesome. Just you and your last rock up to a place, start chatting up people. That is, that's hilarious. Does this even work in real life? Right. Tell them to compare boobs and encourage touching. <laughs> Establish jealousy in girl you were with. No. Tell Caroline that Denise is no. Pull out a gun. Pull out a gun. Shoot one of the guys in the chest for no reason. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's do some assassinations. Is he actually going to do it? Yeah, they're great. I love them. Do you know that guy? Yeah, he's a good guy. What's up with you all of a sudden? He's acting real weird, man. He's fucking freaking me out. I think you're the one acting <laughs> weird. Relax. Just... He's, he's sniffed out of his head. This is what you get when you get paranoid. There's nothing going, going on. on. Leave this to me. Fucking <laughs> Things are crazy in here, no, yeah? no, Come with me, don't baby. Touch me. Let's go dead? to my house to be safe. No, no. Let me it's take you to dead. human I trafficking ring. He's safe now, baby. He's no, dead. Me. Come, come, come. It's alright. You're, you're just shocked. <laughs> He'll be okay. He's dead as a do dodo now. Mate, there's some choices that are far out of left field. It's unreal. Right, what could be the right answer? I think it's this one, you know. It's definitely not compare them touching boobs. That's not going to work. Establish jealousy in the... Nah, it, it's got to be this one. Just be straight with it. Caroline, you know, I was with Denise. Um, we've been over there talking for around an hour. And the thing that was very obvious is that we're both super honest. Right. Yeah, we That's got to know great. each other so well, really, really That's quickly. Good. Are you yeah. an honest kind of person? Right, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I think you should know right away, you know, right away, that Denise is bisexual, yeah. like big into bisexual. Bisexualism. Alright, um... Oh, you're cool that with that, sounds, you're not biphobic. That Okay, that's fine, but why are you talking about that? Oh shit, maybe that's right. Don't be worried. Yeah, just oh, being honest. Yeah. Yeah. Just being right. honest, that's all. Okay. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. Mate, this is, this is, I this don't is know what the answer is. This is very unsmooth and not something that needs to be verbalised. So what was the answer? Unless it was specifically asked. 
So what was the right? What the so, fuck? Dennis, so Dennis, you said you're Dutch. Right, yeah. Wow, Netherlands. that's great. I've never heard the language. Can you oh, say wow. something in Dutch? Oh, what uh, would you like me to say? How about, um, I don't know. you're very beautiful, something like that. Oh, um, you bent heel erg mooi. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, you try first. Bad. Oh, what? Uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, you bent heel erg mooi. You bent you heel erg mooi. mooi. Really that's good. Great. Nice wow. first try. Thanks. Yeah, you that's bent, my first try. You bent. You bent. Heel erg mooi. Heel, heel. Yeah, heel. Heel. Your bed, heel erg mooi. Exactly. I like yeah. to have a I big caravan. Ik hou van jou. Ik hou van jou. Ik is like uh, German, like, right? No, not German. It's like, like Japanese. It's with a K. Ah, oh, ik, I like to go to the toilet, have a big shit. Oh, it's close to German. It, it's very close. This guy's worst. Yeah. Is, the, this is the worst conversation no. I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and you, you speak Belarus? Penises yeah. are yeah. fully yeah. shriveled mm. into the body right. cavity, like and yeah, funnies are so dry, dry like a fucking oh, dried okay. prune. So what do you it's in fact, out? it's just turned into sand. The sandy funnies. As far as the eye can see. I'm just joking. Ja tebe kahaju. Ja tebe tebe kahaju. Kahaju. Right. Did I get it? Yeah. Oh. Is there anything worse than drunk yeah. conversation? Yeah. I think I'd rather just go in the toilets and hang oh, myself. I'd rather go yeah. in the toilets <laughs> and lick the 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 urinals <laughs> than yeah, indulge in this conversation. <laughs> yeah, just I think has anyone seen the video on YouTube where there's the the guy at a, a festival? And he's washing his hands in the male fucking urinal. <laughs> he thinks it's a sink. <laughs> I'd rather do that and wash my face with it than fucking indulge in this conversation. It's the worst thing I've ever heard. Say that, that Denise is your girlfriend. Ask her how to say I'd like a blowjob, please. Make sure Caroline knows you are on a first date with Denise. I, see, lads, I, I don't know what the right answer is here. I, I, this, is, this is out of my expertise. I don't think any of this would work, if I'm honest. gonna go with this we'll see a first date but how's that gonna get us what we want so caroline denise and i we met like a week ago and then yeah. tonight we're on a first date oh, so. wow. good for you yeah, yeah she's so yeah. cool super sociable yeah. oh thank yes. you <laughs> You're not so bad yourself Thanks. it's a good first date not like one of those awkward ones where you need to be rescued or... Oh, yeah. so have you ever had any dates Bad first like dates, that? of course. Yeah, oh. not never my fault, obviously. Maybe, of course not, of course not. <laughs> but you can never know, maybe she prefers this kind of first date. So mm. Maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe no jumping <laughs> or no snowboarding. No? Yeah, those are good. No, activity dates are good, especially yeah. if you don't want to talk. Yeah, if they, the, they, yeah. yeah they, they bring you closer. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, first day, like, kind of chatting, getting to know each other is really lovely, so yeah. having a good time. One of the things that we want to avoid is yeah. Caroline thinking that we're weird swingers. So by saying this, there's just... Wait there, wait there. This guy just said you want to avoid her thinking you're weird swingers, right? Is it not the fucking same thing? Like, I, 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 maybe there's, like small little things that can distinguish it is the only difference between someone having a threesome in swingers because you're not partnered up with that person yet and that you're all technically single surely that's the only difference so this guy calling swingers weird is just pretty much saying that threesomes are weird or maybe i'm not i don't know son the first date and we're out having fun with sociable people it's much more likely to work and not freak her out Caroline, you know what's really cool is everyone is like in their social groups. Normally people just hang out with the people they work with or the people that they went to university yeah. with. But now we've met and yeah. we're, yeah, it's, it's totally so cool. cool. But yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Most Do you know what this conversation reminds me of? It reminds me of like a, a robot that's trying to pretend to be human. It's like, look, we are socializing. Isn't this socializing really nice? Very human-like. <laughs> it's like this is the fucking most unnatural thing I've ever People seen. People like sheep, you know, they just right. stay with their friends. So, yeah, cheers, cheers to yeah, meeting, cheers. meeting cheers. new people. Yeah, I'm open for new experiences. And, you 
Oh, I bet you are, you dirty girl. Dirty girl. Same. Right. Point out differences between them. What are we, 12? Speaking of sheep, if nobody was around and you were all alone, would you let a sheep go down on you? Come on, be honest. <laughs> I'd let a sheep suck me off. There's, ve <laughs> There's very few things I wouldn't let suck me off. Doesn't Listen, right, lads, I've got a question for you, right? So, if you let another man suck you off, does that make you gay? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. You know what I mean? Like, does it though? If you have sex with another man, does that make you gay? I don't think it does. Because I think that unless you're mentally attracted to someone, then it the other things don't matter, does it? Does it? So I think you can have sex with another man and be straight. Think about it. Think about it, bruh. Right, what we're going to do? Find some common commonalities. That's what we've got to do. But I want to say this because I want to see if anybody get licked off by a sheep. <laughs> so I was talking about sheep, yeah? And I was thinking, imagine that you were the last person left in the world, right? Right. And it was just you and a sheep. Oh. Little sweet little sheep. Yeah. You know, I love sheep, they're adorable. You can, yes. in the winter or summer, <laughs> yeah, summer you can make mm -hmm. uh, woolen clothes from it and yeah, stuff. So but sweet. after a year, two years, you just get lonely, yeah? You haven't had a man or a woman or anything. Now, <laughs> would you let the sheep go down on you? Like, put some honey and what? the sheep come. And <laughs> put some honey on it. The sheep like honey. Would you do it? Just a question. I'm not... I Wait there, wait, this, this is the thing, right? What, what I, I find quite interesting. Do you know when you ask someone a fucked up question, why do they get all defensive instead of just answering the question? You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, if someone asked me that, I'd be like, what the fuck? But then I'd be like, I probably like, like, why would you be disgusted at that? I think people are too sensitive. Like, how it's only a bit of fun. It's only a bit of fun, girl. In fact, in fact, come back to mine. I've got three sheep at home. You'll be, you be have a fucking wild night. You fucking to do delusional. It. It's Who hypothetical. Let a sheep go down? That's, like, that's illegal. That's a quite. It's not illegal. Yes. Exactly. The, the rules. Oh, what the fuck? Speaking about sheep, I would be the wolf and you would be the sheep. Okay. So that means. <laughs> Shut up. She said she'd be the wolf and you'd be the sheep. So that means that we'd be letting her out, which is very nice. Is what I like. Like, how do you even talk to women like that? How do you? Maybe it was what hypothetical. Hypothetical. You can't talk to women like that. I mean, it was just a question. See these bitches. See what I mean? Why would you even want? I wouldn't even give these girls the benefit of the rod because they're so em emotional. Cool. I think that's a very valid cool. question. Would you let a sheep suck you off? <laughs> can, can sheep suck? I don't think they can. Sheep do have lips, but I don't think they can suck. Find some commonalities between them. <laughs> this this episode of the shit show, this is by far the poorest episode out of the ones we've played, but you expect that. Denise is super talented. Oh. Yeah, she has some videos on Instagram even. She does uh, hip hop dancing, or she did it. Oh, uh, let me remember, no. she told me seven years? Yeah, White girls doing hip hop dancing. Seven years, and I've been dancing since I was five. Yeah, has anybody? <laughs> I'm just sorry. It's the most fun I'm having. Just thinking about things I've seen. Right? Have you ever go on YouTube? Right? And I don't know what to type in. Type in white girl hip hop dance. There's this woman. Right? She's deadly serious. I'm sure she's having a midlife crisis, and she's shown you how to hip hop dance. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. So, <laughs> you know, you shouldn't be hip hop dancing if you call it hip hop dancing. Years old, yeah. Oh. Super cool. Actually, I'm a dancer too. You I, are. Yeah, I have my da my own dance school. Really? Yeah. But I I can't dance hip hop, but I love 
Strip dancing, dance hall. Oh. Uh, dance hall oh, wow. with a pom pom. Yeah, a bit like I love lady styles more. Mm. <laughs> but hip hop is really beautiful. I love it. It's so you know energetic. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I would love to get a class sometime. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at him, he's loving it. It's important that the two girls start to get along well and connect on things, and you can be the one that facilitates that by finding things. Oh my god, she her in the background Denise, thick. that you can connect with things that you find out. Where is she? I've Caroline. lost her. I think it's the one in the bath. I think we need some more drinks. Would you like another drink? Yeah. yeah I don't mind. What, <laughs> what would you like? Uh, maybe a cube of liver. The same. <laughs> okay, that's rum and coke, right? Just to, just to make yeah, sure. Yeah, and the lemon. Lemon. Yeah. All right. Do you want to drink as yeah, well? Yeah, but I need yeah. to check on my friends first. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll okay. go order the drinks. Yeah, we'll go together. Okay, see. See. Hey, mate. Uh, could we have same again for us? And could we have a uh, rum and coke? Um, any cheap rum is okay, and with lemon. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Give me the cheapest shit, because we don't know if this wow. is going to work. I'm still confused. Is this blonde girl, like, up for it? Does she know what's a crack of Latin? Tell her she has a fractured sexual identity with a good girl and bad side. <laughs> Talk to her about windmills and the wooden clogs from Holland. Use reverse psychology. Tell her she looks like a really boring girl who goes to bed at 9pm every night and never masturbates. Lad, none of, none of these sound like a good idea. What? I'm I'm just picking this one because it's got the word masturbate in it. <laughs> you know, I've got an intuition about you. Oh, it's wrong, I is do. it? Yeah, I think you're the kind of girl that is a good girl, goes to sleep at nine p.m. in woolly pajamas. Never masturbates, not even, not even at all. No dildos, no vibrators, no anal beads and all of that. No sex toy drawer. <laughs> Why do you think that? I don't know, it just uh, strikes me. I just can't imagine you in bed with a big dildo, like, <laughs> banging away. Well, I hope but I can't I right? fucking imagine it. <laughs> I fucking hope so. Why? Because it's absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Why the you fuck would you think so I'm such correct. things? So I'm correct. You don't like masturbating sex or dildos. No, I don't like any of them. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what? I think that if I could go home right now, yeah, grab my fucking dildo oh, and got masturbate, a dildo. Got a dildo. And it would be more fun than You're fucking you. You're the girl for me. So oh, no. Nice. Fuck, she's got dildos. <laughs> oh, she's got dildos. She's got dildos in it. Right, so that's clearly the wrong one. It's got to have to be this, but it sounds so fucked up. Imagine telling someone, mate, your sexual identity is fractured to bits. You don't even know who you are. You don't know what you're doing. Now let me smash those fanny walls. And I'm not going to talk a bit about clogs. I can't think of anything less interesting. You know, I've got an intuition about you. Oh, do you? Yeah. Do you know a lot about psychology? Psychology? No, not psychology. much. Psychology. Why do you? Yeah, of course. Of There's course. something called um, a fractured sexual identity, and I think that's what you've got. What do I? Yeah, but don't worry, it's nothing bad. Basically, it means that on one hand, you're really demure. Right? Yeah, exactly, like shy like this. <laughs> um, but then there's a part of you that when you're with someone you trust, when you're turned on maybe, um, you wouldn't mind someone lightly choking you, pulling your what hair. What the fuck? How is this any different than what we just said about fucking wanking off in a house? Fantasies about different things, kissing girls. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's why it's like fractured. It's like the two contrasts in one person. Mm. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty accurate. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not being funny, right? But the this... In this, I'm talking about this episode specifically, these techniques will only work on absolute dumb cunts. Like if, if there's not, if you can hear the single brain cell bouncing off the inside of the skull, that's the only type of people it will work on. Like who's not, who, you'd have to be super naive to fall for this shit. You know what I mean? Like if someone was chatting to me the way he's chatting to me, I'd just be thinking this guy is a fucking moron. Like does he really expect us to, to fall for this? But then again, people do. People fall for shit ridiculous shit all day every day in fact less than 45 minutes ago 
somebody just rang me asking if I want to, I don't know, if I've been in an accident and all that shit and, ah, oh, just, yeah, fuck off, man. Don't ring us, don't ever ring us asking if I've been in an accident, mate. This is kind of like cold reading, where you tell someone some characteristics that you think they have, and they turn. Oh no! To turn the true. background. But it's turn also the far right. telling her that She's you won't judge booty. her, and you're not going to be bothered. Damn. You know, you won't uh, think anything bad if this is how she is. I, w I would like it if you could have a look what through do you the think girls. Of Carolina. Carolina is absolutely stunning. I, I yeah. Yeah. This like in terms of women, is she your kind of type, or you prefer? I would say she's definitely my type. Uh, I would normally go for like I love women with like really long hair. That's kind of uh -huh. my thing. But wait there, sorry. I'm just I'm actually putting all things like into perspective in my brain. Yeah, because what I've said it doesn't matter. Like right, if I was gonna have a threesome, right? Because I need to be in the woman's shoes here, right? If I was gonna be in a threesome with me another girl and another man the other man i suppose would have to be attractive to me and by attractive to me what i mean is someone that i don't think is a dirty cunt and by dirty cunt i mean he has to be clean and look like he looks after himself yeah because you want to be comfortable naked around them but by asking her if the other girl is her type but you, she doesn't have to be a lesbian or bisexual to have a threesome, does she? Because she might only want to do things with you. So it shouldn't really matter, if that makes sense. Because the person you bring in to have sexual relations with, with you, you don't have to be attracted to that person. It's just another person. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just getting my thoughts out there to try and understand it better. She's absolutely stunning, so yeah, maybe. Okay, that's great. Well, you're great too, give me a hug. Yeah. Awkward. Um, listen, I'm just gonna go to the toilet if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Right, so why are we going to the toilet to drop a big deuce? Go back and ask Carolina to look after Denise while you go to the toilet. That's a good idea. Invite both of them to the toilet with you. Fucking right. I can't leave you here alone, so let's go see Caroline. <laughs> oh, how gentle of you. I'm so excited to see her again. <laughs> hey, Caroline. Hey. Listen, look, I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Um, who wants to hold my winkle while I tinkle? It's like an English tradition. Oh, very good. <laughs> it's hilarious. It? You've yeah, got I mean, lovely you're little hands. You're so poetic. <laughs> oh, I love your... Oh. She's one, I'm afraid. Ew. Look at her nails. But... It's disgusting. Come and yeah, hold, come on. Oh, you no. could both. Um, no, thank <laughs> you. Doing, baby? No, thank okay. you. So it's an English tradition. Oh, it's yeah. rude to not. It is actually an English tradition that, you know, it's rude not to. If someone asks you to go to the toilet and hold their winkle while they tinkle, it's the law that you have to do it. So it's a good job they're not in England, otherwise they'll be both going to jail. Right, we're definitely going to ask her to look after Denise, because then that gets her away from the group again. But look, I'm not going to leave you here because there might be sexual predators, perverts. And you're, <laughs> I am you, one. You look quite young, so it could even be paedophiles. So let's oh. take you. <laughs> this fucking um, pedos. Yeah. That is hilarious. Hey, Caroline. Hey. Listen. Jeffrey Epstein's the around the corner. Right. Uh, could you look after Denise? Yeah. Make sure no okay. one attacks her. Don't worry. But be careful. I might want to sue her. I don't mind. Nice to see you again. Mm, yeah. Good. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? Good. Where's where is your cocktail? <laughs> yep, yeah, nice one. This is a good opportunity to give yeah. the two girls some bonding time. Uh, and you've got a good reason to do it. So, yeah, that's much better than leaving Denise just standing there on her own. Hey, girls. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, hi. Hey, okay. our drink's not ready yet, no? Oh, no. Oh. That's all right. Oh, well, what took them so long? I know. What were you oh. talking about? Just discussing countries. Yeah. yeah. Countries still. Yeah. Did you learn more Dutch uh, or Belarusian? No. <laughs> no. Just some general things. Like, yeah, exactly. I've like, never been to Holland before. Oh, yeah. And I've never been to Belarus before, so. There you you go. said you'd never been out of Europe, yeah? No, I've never been out Not of Europe. Not to America. No, never. Really? Have you, Caroline? Yeah, I've been to the United States. Yeah. Like, oh, really? Three times. Yeah. And anywhere else? Asia? 
Yeah, I've just come back from China. Oh, China, I've been to China yeah, as well. Had like a huge trip to China. Mm -hmm. Yeah, visited lots what of places. What a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> it's the so flattest funny. conversation I've ever heard. It's devastating. I'd rather go and bury my I'm head so in between two I'm just bricks. Curious. Why did you think I was Spanish? Because oh, you got know, that sexy like the... olive skin, son. Because you've got these like deep brown eyes, and then you've got the tan. Obviously, you know, Spain oh. is sunny, so I thought you were a Spanish chica. This is obviously a compliment for me. <laughs> yeah, sure. And I also, like it's like it. like Mediterranean energy, like relaxed and happy yeah. vibe. You know, not serious. I like Spanish girls, they're so beautiful. Mm. They are, yeah. Yeah. Why <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give him the eyebrow raise? He you knows he's like, yeah, son. Oh, Jinx already. Oh, yeah. What the fuck are these? Yeah, I think it is. Oh. What's going on here? Thank you. Alright, cheers. I hope we get the cheers. option to chin cheers. one of them. It's getting busy here, yeah? Yeah, it sure is. Well, let's start a fight, start a fight. Right. Take Caroline further away from her group. Show playful dominance by grabbing her by the hair and pulling her away from the bar and to the table. I'd, I'm not even going to pick that because that sounds like something this guy would say like it's the right option. <laughs> playful dominance. Grab her by the nostrils and drag her over to the table. Yeah, let's. I think definitely the right option is this one. Take her further away from the group. It's a bit crowded here. Why don't we go over there? There's lots of space and uh, our stuff is over there. Yeah, cool. Let's go. Let's go. See? Got all this tea here as well. Is yeah, that it's correct? It's good to get her a little further away yeah. from the group because all kinds of things could go wrong that could blow up your evening otherwise. And yeah, this is a good excuse just to get some space and move a little bit further away. Why is it not? It never shows you that the girl that I think is the hottest. Oh, quick time event. Like in like a close up shot. Right, come on, what are we doing? By the way, did you notice in the bathroom they have some Andy World? Oh, yes. You like modern art? Uh, I'm not really into modern art. Sorry. Oh. I don't know nothing about art. I used to draw stick men. That's okay if you're not into it. But actually, you know, modern art and abstract art were born in search of the absolute. They represented the mature cognitive development of mankind, as opposed to the cognitively undeveloped pre-medieval, <laughs> you know, that, that stuff. And the Renaissance Mate. art, which just wasn't as good. What? And the good thing about them is that they don't attempt to simply imitate nature. They don't represent or entertain the world of the senses. And because of that, they're free of content, relative reference, and also political considerations. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, that's impressive. Very yeah. impressive. Wow, like, who could just reel that off? Like, this, this is like super seducer to try to like teach you how to like seduce women. But unless you're like in an encyclopedia, this isn't going to work. Ah, oh, yes. Abstract art is free from political bias and it's drawn with crayons by five year olds. Yeah, the fuck that made. I just, I'll be like, nah, I don't know about art. Like, I know there's a woman. Actually, I know loads about art. I know that somebody. A woman, I think she was American. She probably wasn't American. She was a woman though. Made art from her period blood. Lush. I bet you that smelt lush. Imagine going to that art art gallery and just smelling old period blood. Can't think of anything better. Right. Get them to be competitive competitive with each other. Get them to compliment each other. Mm, that's a good one. Show your nurture inside by telling them a story about the time you found a kitten that was too young for solid food and your ex-girlfriend fed it her breast milk. <laughs> We've already heard the story. I'm not going to pick that because that's hilarious. Play a game with each girl rates your dick from 1 to 10 and if they choose the same number, they win. <laughs> nah, these are shit, right? We're going to do this. Get them to compliment each other. Girls, you know, I've got this problem. Women have told me in the past that I'm really bad at giving compliments. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it just doesn't come naturally to me. Oh. But um, I don't know. Help, help me out. Let's see. So, right. what compliment would you give Caroline? Uh, I would definitely say I think her eyes are very pretty. Uh -huh. and... Pretty. Yeah, I think she's really like like glowing as a person. That's a good one. Glow. She has a special. Yeah, a special like energy. Glow. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. That's yeah. so sweet. That's a good one. You're That's welcome. a good one. And I really like your lips. They're so soft. Like Thank makes you. your face so beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Damn. Yeah. That's better than I would have done. I, I might have said, I like your eyes or. I like well, that's exactly what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Was that, Using that was this medium. little trick, we've managed oh, to get good. them to say some nice things to each other. And that's great. You know, if we can get the attraction building up between the two of them, then it's going to make your life a lot easier. You guys have dancing in common, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we do. Yeah, Dennis, can you show me some moves? Maybe what? Oh, no, don't do hip hop dancing. Some don't. Yours as well. Yeah. Right. This is going to be a car crash. Lads, this is going to be a car crash. I'm cringing already. Yeah, I start with stuff I'm really into is popping, and I'd go to the like. Oh, wow. oh no. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Lads, I can't even watch. I can't even watch. Yeah, you're more like the. Yeah, that's the best type of dance. That's how women should dance. Oh, yeah, like that. Oh, Definitely. my. Damn! That's yeah. how you dance. That's not hard. No. The only thing popping is to be my dick. <laughs> oh, God. This is. Oh, my dangerous. God. Very dangerous. Yeah, she's a belt of dancer, like. I need to watch some YouTube videos. Oh, really? You took some lessons? No, I need to. I need oh, to. Yeah. You just got everything, so. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't. I'm sorry. Like, I don't care how smoking hot or rich a woman was. If she if she started popping in front of us, I'd be like, "Bitch, I'm out. Gone. I can't cope, son." Right. Get in the middle and make a super seducer sandwich. <laughs> Push them together saying you're not good enough to dance with them. Do the double tit grab and turn them both. Oh, the double tit grab. This is a power move. This is a power move. Watch this. The double tit grab. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, do it again. Is he actually going to grab the tits? <gasps> oh, what are you doing? Oh my god. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Us. <sighs> that was nice. Bigger than mine. <laughs> the double tick rub. Let's see what she's got here. This guy in the background can't believe it. Well, what's wrong? Have a go yourself. Just right. You're just jealous. <laughs> girl, don't touch you. Really? Yeah. Look at your boobs. Check it here. How much can you bench? Wow, really? How much can you bench? This it, mate. It's so funny when you fuck do the, the shit choices. How much can you bench? Do you even lift, bro? I think we should make a super seducer sandwich. That's definitely not the right answer. Keep dancing with it, but I'm going to go for the super seducer sandwich because it's got super seducer in its name. It's probably like a, a kind term for getting jiggy with it. Getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. <laughs> Oh, uh, what? what? Finished already. Yeah. How we man? I need a bit of fun. Oh, They've got no sense of humour whatsoever. What do you think of my dancing? Um, it was good. It was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I was saying. That wasn't. Yeah. Thank you. Shit, this is gonna be like a really you shit option. Too, obviously. I just wanted to see I what it was. Should take some dancing lessons to mm. take it some. to another level. I could give you, you know. some lessons. <laughs> I bet he will. Maybe next time. Maybe. This is oh. a little bit too much too soon, you know, trying to grab everything you can. And it might work if they were super wasted and super up for it, but <laughs> it might in work a lot of cases mortal. it just wouldn't help and would be kind of strange and awkward, especially with everyone looking in the bar. 
Oh, bro. I've got this friend called Andrew. He's really, really handsome. Like, he's very tall, he's got blue eyes, dark hair. Like, all the women love him. But when he's in the bar, he'll be walking through with me and everyone checks him out because he's, you know, taller than everyone, looks really good. And he just can't tell at all whether a woman likes him or not. Like, in conversation or anything. <laughs> he always says, oh, I don't think she likes me. And I can see her there, like, you yeah, know, really in trying, raptures. Yeah. yeah. So what do you do? do you, are you good at kind of flirting and sending signals with with guys? Uh, I think I, I, if I were to make sure a guy knows that I like him, I'd kind of move in, I would touch him a little bit, mm -hmm. and yeah, I would play with my hair. With hair. That's the classic, yeah. Maybe yeah. giving him compliments on his mm -hmm. look, on his clothes, or maybe... And they've never done any of this yet. <laughs> yeah. You bet he's on the school hall. Yeah. Laugh even if they're not funny, that's what... That's <laughs> yeah, what <exactly>. yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Okay, well, I need to really go to the bathroom. Would you All excuse right. me? Yes, sure, but actually, you guys can go together. Don't worry about leaving me here. Okay. 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 Well, as long as you don't move, stay here. I will stay like this. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> no move. <laughs> Joke about how they actually go to the bathroom to make out. Tell them to change something about their appearance to try and trick me. <sighs> First impressions, right? From everything we've learned from Big Rich in Super Seducer. Joke about how they actually go to the bathroom to make out, right? Because that's planting the seed about what's going down tonight. But at the same time, that is quite playful. I'm going to do this. Do it. Come on, we're going balls to the wall. I'm not even bothered if I go home lonely because I'd rather have a wank than have sex with either of these two because they're a fucking nightmare. I can't be honest with them. But let's just... See, that's the thing. When you're not invested in something, you can just be an arsehole. <laughs> so there we go, we're going to be an arsehole. Well, before you go to the bathroom, just know that if you want to make out there and kiss and stuff, it's okay. Oh. Alright? Well, good to mm. know. Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. I even uh -huh. LOL'd. Uh -huh. yeah. What the fuck? He, he wasn't yeah. supposed to say it like that. Uh -huh. He wasn't... He, that's not even what the option said. The option was like joke about that, that they want to go away because they want to get away for him. Because like it's like he, he was like, uh, you gotta go away and kiss. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> He's like, it, uh. this is pretty childish and silly, and it's unlikely Mate. to help things move in the right direction. Me, I'm getting mixed signals off Big Richie's like try and be like silly and playful. Right, come on then. Right, we're going in for the kill now. No yeah. more silly options. Yeah. We're going to pound Cheers. Vaj. Yeah, did you miss us? Yeah, massively. Did you, did you see the Andy Warhol that she was talking about? It was Prince. Yeah, I've seen it. What do you think? Trash or...? It was okay. They're definitely going to go home and les off without me. I guarantee it. Right, have you ever been molested by a... Whoa. Have you ever been molested by a relative? Ah, oh, that's going to get the fucking fanny wet in it. Of course it is. Have you ever fucked a girl with a strap on? Play two truths and one lie. It's de The right answer is definitely going to be this. We have to pick it because I don't think we're going to have many chances to get the good end because we've just fucked it up. I don't know if it's big in Belarus or in Holland, but have you played the game Two Truths, One Lie? I've heard about it. Yeah. Have you? I've heard something, heard but it. I've never played. You didn't play it. It's not true it, or no. dare, it's something else. Oh. So basically you say three statements about yourself. Okay. One is a lie and two mm -hmm. are true. And then you need to guess which is a lie. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Should I go first? Just try you? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Right. Um, I've never eaten in McDonald's. Oh, that's lie. I that's definitely lie. Lie. <laughs> that's lie. I don't like cats. Mm. That's true. Yes. And I've, I don't know, I've been to around 80 countries. So which is a lie? It has to be a McDonald's one. McDonald's. McDonald's. Yes. Mm -hmm. No. You've never no been to way. McDonald's? You've never where do you had live? live? <laughs> on, on Mars? Planet or where? No, I just go past it. <laughs> I should try it. So you're wrong. So what's the lie then? Cats or travel? I would say that you would lie about not liking cats. I mean, I think you really like cats. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You love She's cats. right. I like cats, <laughs> but I'm allergic. But I like cats. Oh. A little bit allergic. Oh, that makes sense then. 
Right. <laughs> so you got it wrong. You both failed. All right. Who's next? You both failed. Um, I can start. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, I can easily fall for a guy who has a good sense of humor. Um, <laughs> next one, I used to be fat. Yeah, you probably were. And the third one, I once broke my leg by jumping upstairs. upstairs. The last one's a lie. Upstairs. Which was the lie? Right. We're not actually going to pick the one we think. We're going to pick the one that we want to be true because what we're going to do we're going to see man mate i'm going to psychological the fuck out of this right because i want her to easily fall with someone with a good sense of humor fingers crossed we've got a good sense of humor even though we actually haven't proved that by the previous questions but i'm going to say that the lie is that she can easily fall for a guy with a good sense of humor so when she says that's wrong it's still going to be a win for us that sounds too strange to be a lie yeah so <laughs> this was too particular to be a lie, for sure. Yeah. What? So maybe the second one. I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was too easy. Yeah. <laughs> that was too what? obvious. Lie, it's it not about the lie detection oh, skills. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. I'm bad at waiting. Lie detection skills went down, but that's not what we were trying to do. Mate, I'm with... Lads, I need to bring my own Super Seducer game out because I'm working on another level to Richard, man. I'm playing the long game for the long dude. Denise, let's <laughs> see. I think you're going to be good. Hmm, let me think. The first thing is I have a dog. Oh. The second thing is I have a belly button piercing. Mm. And the third one is I have traveled to Italy. Oh. Which is the lie? You definitely don't have a dog, otherwise you would have already told me. Hmm. You thought a lot for the last one, but then it was only traveling to Italy, so probably you did. Mm -hmm. But then dog... But you said you like cats. I'm choosing oh, between God. the piercing and Italy. Hmm. I'm choosing between uh, dog and I Italy. Am. What do you want to go for? I would go for piercing. I'll go with dog. Who's right? That dog. One? Was well, not a lie. I actually do have belly button piercing. Oh, she does not have a dog. Yes. Oh, she does not like I think the we dog. Visit the restroom once again. So <laughs> oh, once again, right? I'm sure you she's not cheating. Okay. Oh, all right. Check it out. Oh shit, son. Yes. Check it out. Yeah, this is one of those other little tricks and gambits that you can use. Something that you can remember uh, and deploy in real life in those situations where you run out of stuff to say or a conversation isn't so interesting. Uh, it works pretty well, so <laughs> if you just... want to up your conversation <gasps> skills, then you can use stuff like that until you get to the point where you don't need them anymore. She's just trying on clothes in the background, it's hilarious. Um, Different things. Oh, you're... Oh, your oh, oh, mate's oh, oh, would you please excuse me? Yeah, sure. sure oh, thing. So, what do you think? About what? Her friends? Ah, about Caroline. She's so, what do they say, bubbly, positive energy, cool person, right? Yeah, I like her. Oh, she likes her. Say that you'll invite Caroline back and make sure Denise is cool with that. Encourage Denise to invite her back for a drink. We should definitely do this because they've built up a good repertoire. So, that, And this will also be, pardon me, less, what's the word I'm looking for? I've just used the word previously, but I've just drawn a blank. I had a copy of brain fart. It'll be more. It'll be more comfortable. Yeah, less intimidating. Why don't you invite her back for drinks in the house? Oh, maybe we should. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's usually better to ask the girl to invite her back. She's more likely to agree. Oh, she's and winking at us. Be cool about it. So, how am I going to make sure she comes back with us? We need a choke. <laughs> because it takes too long for you to come, so you need extra holes. <laughs> what? Wait, did I miss the question? Did she say, why should I? Champagne and view. 
Champagne and view. Oh, you mean like the view. Maybe he lives in a nice place. I think the classic one, just keep it simple, um, champagne and view. Oh, yeah? that might be a good one. Yeah. I think she'll be into that. Definitely. Let's see. Oh, hey, hey, welcome back. Your friend's going, yeah? Yeah, he's moving now. Good friends? Yeah. Seems yeah. like a nice guy. Yeah, he's good. Is it going to work? It's always good to give a reason, even if that reason is quite weak. Um, studies have shown that when you add the word because and, you know, some reason, people are more likely to agree to something. You can read more about that in books by Robert Cialdini. Robert Cialdini. So we were thinking, would you maybe want to come back with us? We have like really amazing champagne and like the best view. Yeah. Well, uh, why not? Yeah, of course. Yes. Like a cool plan. Oh, we are oh, seeing the deal. Yeah. We are going yeah. bald yeah. okay. deep. Yeah. Bald yeah. and face deep. I'm going to be the meat in this spit roast between women. Just watch. Just watch. To be continued. What? What, you can't just leave me blue ball day, man? <gasps> no way. Oh, threesome part two. So we don't even get a, an ending there so basically i don't think any choices you've made in chapter four matter on chapter five it's a completely separate thing which is good because we made some fucked up choices there which i didn't think they were going to continue the the storyline i thought they were going to give us the broken heart thing but we've played it off we've, we've done well okay what we're going to do is call it an episode here straight away i'm going into chapter five three some part two to see what's the crack of luck and i want to see how this ends i want to be the the meat in this female sandwich it's gonna be amazing see you there lads